forever! Do not land! Hey, we should use your scanner to get our bearings. they knew anything about Dr. Ghibli, but they weren't going to make things easy for us, see? What are you talking about? Hey there, it's me, Sudo. Looks like you're trying to interrogate a suspect. Let's ask them some questions. I'm really sorry. I don't know who that is, but <laughs> good luck, I guess. Hope you find them. What? Why do you care? If you must know, I ate 15 whole sandwiches. And yes, I regret it. I don't know why I ate that many. Woof, they didn't know anything. That was a real d -rick. Look, it took me a while to understand what Globo is saying, but he's just saying over and over, I want a drum. Give me a drum. Somebody give me a drum. He just said he likes you and he hopes you'll get him a drum. Hey, listen, uh, if you find a drum anywhere, my buddy Globo here, you know, he'd really love one. He's great. He's a good drummer. And I think it would help him. You know, he's a good musician. I think it would... He, trust me, it'd be worth your time. Oh, we love drum music. We're going to help you out, I promise. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Stop right there, Slick. We're looking for Dr. Ghibli. You're going to help or what? Slick. What the fuck are you talking like that for? Oh, Jesus Christ, leave me alone. I don't know, and I don't give a shit. I'm busy. You need anything else, or can I fucking go? You gotta get there. What, my whole deal? Like, who am I? What do I do? Well, my name's Jackie T. Pooperton, and what I do is tell you to fuck off. Ranging abilities puts you in the right place, though. Let's just hope we get... Quick, it's the drug guy. No! I don't have any fucking ties to the evil drug conglomerate. I'm a normal live a normal life in the city. Uh, Why in the fuck would I have any ties to the G3? Frank, but we're out of time. That was it for the Ooh, bummer. They were a tough cookie. But they were telling the truth according to my sensors. So let's say that was a C-rank interrogation. Better luck next time. Let's look for somebody else. You look cool. Can we talk to you? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, what's this about, can I ask? Hey, quiet. Don't say his name so loud. I can't help you, but Blordo can. Mention my name, Michael Pink. Then he'll talk. But no cracks about my name. Well, sure. Yeah, I, I don't really have any moral issue with accepting a bribe. It sounds like a win-win, actually. I get money, you get info. But, uh, come to think of it, the G3 will kill me, so, uh, how about no? Uh, yeah. Everyone knows about the G3. <laughs> it's just, we shouldn't be talking about him in broad daylight like this, you know? I was playing snooker with Blordo. Yeah, he's really bad at it, so I won a few hundred pesos. <laughs> it was a great night. Hey, thanks for asking about my night, pal. It was nice of you. You take an interest in people. That's admirable. Holy shit, wow, you, we actually got something we can use. Okay, woohoo, that was an A-rank interrogation. Good for you. Let's head over to Blurdo and mention Michael Taint. Hi, Blurdo, we're looking for Dr. Giblis. Can you help? Whoa, 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 where'd you hear that name? You can't just go asking around town for a guy like that. Oh, did we do something wrong? Sorry, should we not ask about Dr. Giblets? I don't know. Why do you think I know anything about Dr. Giblets? I don't know nothing. Now buy something or beat it, buster. Ah, oh, that piece of shit. I'm gonna kill him. 
Look, if you're really looking for trouble, maybe check out the new High on Life store in the slums. The Hyperbong 6 Midnight launches tonight, but you should be able to get in by now. Just don't mention my name. I didn't say nothing. Now get out of here. If anyone sees me talking to you, I'm dead. Understood, sir. Yes, sir. Whoa! Great sleuthing, detectives! That was an S-rank interrogation! favorite VIP. Yeah, you don't have to wait through any of this funny business. You are allowed right in, my friend. Yeah, you better head straight through. I don't want jerks like you hanging. The night was getting longer by the minute. Soon we'll oh, see yeah, the hey, new hey, high yeah. life store. Uh, but again, what you don't want to talk to me. I'm a broken leg guy. Nobody wants oh, to talk to me. Oh, nobody knows. Could be crazy. When you live in the darkness like me, you make a whole lot of enemies. It's just a life of a detective guy. So you gotta kill guys.
This green water hurts a lot. Almost like it's toxic or something. It might not be. That's just my guess. from you and they make you live in the sludge. They even take your sludge, see? This is a great jetpack. There we go. Why haven't you been using me? How's it going? Look, I'm just saying my glove shot might be helpful, you know?
trick hole. Welcome back. We've got company. Hello there. Oh, hey, you guys were really funny earlier. Oh, Ari, they're cool. We've been observing you. Hope that don't rustle your jimmies none. Because newsflash buckos, we're on your side. We'd like to formally apologize for how we treated you earlier. We didn't realize who we were dealing with. You'll have to forgive us. And we're sorry we still sound like we're intimidating you. It's the only way we know how to talk. Our wives hate us. We represent Magistrate Clug Nugman. Maybe you've heard of him. He's certainly heard of you. Here's the skinny slim. The Torg family, or what's left of it anyway. They got mixed up with a bad crowd. The G3 cartel. Or more specifically, Dr. John Giblet's PhD. And Clug wants it squashed pronto. He says you're the right bounty hunter for the job. Says you're already helping him. Says the G3 is our common enemy. We've got a lead on Dr. Giblets. He's been whooping all over, leaving behind a nice little walk trail for us. We're thinking you can follow those breadcrumbs all the way to the gingerbread house. That way Clug don't have to get his cute little hands dirty. You dig? This kid's fast. Yeah, check out Dale Earnhardt Jr. over here. Let's say somebody dies. Maybe, hypothetically, their name is Dr. Giblets. Well, should anything like that happen, we had nothing to do with it. We didn't even mention it. This conversation never happened. And Clug will be very grateful. Speaking of which, why don't you follow us? Clug wants to speak in person. We get to meet a famous guy? So? Oh, welcome back. Thank you so much for all your help. Yeah, they've been aces. Yeah, real pros. Hello. Sorry about those two. They can be a bit intense. Really, I don't know why they talk like that. But look, you've seriously done so much for me. I hate to ask for anything else, but this election is really close. And, well, keeping the G3 out of blim, it's really going to help me lock this in. Do you think you could, you know, deal with Dr. Giblets? Oh, that's a good idea. I think we were already going to do that. But then we hit a dead end. A dead end? Oh no, we can't have that. Let me just leave this map data right here on my desk. Not sure what might be on it. You're being hard to understand. Just tell us where Dr. Giblets is. Whoa, whoa, even if this map data did take you to Dr. Giblets, we're not 100% sure it would be his actual base. You'll still need to do some detective work. Fuck yeah. And then you want us to... You know... Hey, hey, hey! I can't officially tell you to do that. Not if I want to win this next election, at least. <laughs> Good luck out there, bounty hunter! Wow! Look! That's gonna be helpful! Thank you! You're doing great work. What's this? What did we just pick up? Oh, right. Sorry. The map dated to get to Dr. Giblets. Forgot. I'm on the same page now. How'd it go? I think really good. Clug may or may not have shown us where Dr. Giblets is. I'm a little confused, as usual. That's great. I kind of regret not voting for him.
dispatch 146. We have a 1052 double VOA call at the Dickinson Farm on the meeting dispatch 146. We have a double VOA 1052 call at the Dickinson Farm. Dispatch 146, we have a 1052 double VOA call at the Dickinson Farm on the meeting. Dispatch 146, we have a double VOA 1052 call at the Dickinson Farm. Of course, conducting the auction out here for the Gleason State Bank as a secured party here on the Roy Anderson property. Harvey Woodward, of course, representing the home office out of Merrill. He's working here with me today at Colonel Pete Van Ryan selling the auction. Bid either one of us will roll along as rapid as we can. All things are being sold here today without reservations, the highest bid regardless of price, ordered by the clerks of the secured party. And that includes all machinery, cattle, and the real estate.
Somebody needed our help bad. It sounded like they were dying, maybe. Because they said, I'm dying. I really hurt. I'm like badly, it's not even like a wound. I'm like badly hurt. Yeah, this is nice. Oh, uh, please. Uh, oh, thank God. Thank God someone's here. I, I'm, I'm, I'm losing consciousness. Oh. Oh. We stumbled across another body. It looked like a classic case of... Hey, what happened to you? A G3 base warped right through here. Right, 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 right where I was. And, uh, well, well it shot me uh, right in half. I got cut in half. A G3 base? That can only mean one thing. Not sure what, though. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm fading fast. Please, please, please just stay with me while I die. I, I, I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. Do they still have a chance of survival? Who's to say? No way to know. Not even with all the blood and half their body missing. We weren't going anywhere until it was over. No, no. It's my time to go. Oh, thank you for for staying with me as I die. Oh, just, just don't leave. Okay. Now I feel it. Here I go. Oh, I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh. And just like that, another candle is snuffed out in the wind. So cool. Hey, 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 where, where are you guys going? You you promised me you'd stay with me until I until I die. Hey, hey, thanks for coming back. Are you fine now? <laughs> no, 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 oh, oh, I'm dying. No, I'm actually, oh, not uh, for real this time, though. Hey, hey, what the fuck? You left me again. I'm, I'm not dead yet. Dr. Giblet's supposed to be here? I feel like he's supposed to be here. Well, I'm sure we'll be able to find Dr. Giblet's with just a little bit of detective work. Let's look around for clues. Okay, great. That sounds really fun. Oh, that's uh, a lot of dead bodies. What do you think happened in here? Whatever it was, it's not a good situation. Someone was killing G3 mercs. You know what? That makes sense. Everyone hates the G3. I bet people try to kill them all the time. I mean, look at you. That's what you're doing. Hmm, a destroyed drone. Looks like it was deployed for combat. Nothing fishy there, that's what they're used for, that's what drones are for, they're for combat, that's not weird to see a destroyed drone. Hey, uh, I don't know what's behind that door, but you can't get in there yet, uh, maybe, maybe that's where Giblets is, I don't know, we have to scan a bunch of stuff first, so do that, and then maybe the door will open, just letting you know. You should go back and investigate more. I knew Pseudo was right. Now wasn't the time to give up. All right, sick. We're back. We're going to keep investigating now. Let's find Dr. Giblets.
Looks like your typical work desk, nothing too crazy. Uh, uh, you know, best I can guess is someone interrupted Dr. Giblets while he was doing experiments. I don't know, I'm just throwing stuff at the wall here. Okay, yeah, I think I'm getting a sense of what happened here. Someone beat us to the punch. They attacked Dr. Giblets and all his men. Oh, we need more information. Let me hack the door so we can go deeper and look for more clues. And just like that, the chase was on. Howdy there, cowboys. Uh, oh, shit. Sorry, wrong bit, wrong bit. I mean, howdy there, detectives. Ooh, this looks like the lab where Dr. Giblets did his experiments. There's gotta be something helpful in here. Let's get to scanning. Whew, look at all these drone heads. Dr. Giblets was an expert at creating cybernetic organisms, but we already knew that. You know, I don't think this is a very helpful clue. Was he doing experiments on his own henchmen? Jesus Christ, that's fucked up, right? Yeah, that's fucked up. I know it's fucked up. I don't know why I asked. I knew it was fucked up. Dr. Giblets must have been losing his mind. These must be old Hyperbong prototypes. Way jankier than the ones they're selling at the High on Life store. Well, you know, we just pointed these out. Now we can move on to the next thing. Alright, here's my new theory. Dr. Giblets was even more twisted than we could ever imagine. He was torturing his own henchmen. He wasn't right in the head. Although I guess that's what Douglas did too, so maybe that's normal for the G3. Maybe he was normal. No way to know unless we go deeper. I'm hacking the next door! this room is, but I'm sure there's more clues in here, so go go find more clues, baby. We spotted another Gatlin. It didn't look so good. But then again, neither did I. I look crazy. Who am I to judge? Aha, so that's our murder weapon. Are these second place trophies? They're trophies for, for what? Science? Just science in general? Do they really give out second place trophies for science? Jeez, it looks like Dr. Dibbles was pissed he didn't get first place in, in science. Dr. Giblets write this? He was really paranoid, huh? He really thought people were trying to kill him. And you know what? Uh, he, he was right, because that's exactly what we're here to do. So, okay, he was right. Not crazy. Normal guy. Okay, I think we finally cracked this case. Dr. Giblets really did go insane. He was paranoid that someone was after him, so he killed his own men. While you were wasting time doing detective work, I was busy scanning the area for Dr. Giblets and decrypting the password on his security systems. Now you can just follow the waypoint right to him. So you didn't need us to find clues. That's okay, it was still really fun. Yep, sorry, I just love detective mode so much I didn't want you to stop using it. Now go kill Dr. Giblets! took the easy way out. A little disappointing because I was looking forward to a fight. Jesus Christ, that was the easiest one yet. All right, let me add him. Dr. 
giblet status report no life signs detected entering full security lockdown uh -oh. hello if you are hearing this pre-recorded message it means you've successfully managed to murder one of the greatest minds in all of super science congratulations you killed me but i knew this day would come and i was prepared for this moment now see you can survive my retribution from beyond the grave another ambush that's detective life for you so many ambushes everyone called me crazy but look at me now i'm dead and you're trapped in here fallen prey to my glorious science you were ever so jealous of recordings. Douglas, I remember that party where you got naked and experimented. 
it to one of the Squindle brothers. It was really hot. I even took photographs. Perhaps that's why you killed me. To get back those photographs. Well, too bad. I had rigged my computer to post them all over the internet the second my heart stopped beating. But don't worry. They're really hot. So everyone will think it's cool. Myself! <laughs> <laughs> 
finally! It makes sense, you know. I always hated myself. I knew I'd get the guts to do it one of these days. Good for me. Oh, that's dark. So, okay, I killed myself. Whoops. My apologies to whoever's hearing this. I hope you'll forgive me for making you go through all of that. You can leave now. Have a good day. Giblets out. R.I.P. Giblets. Wow, okay, good, 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 good work. I think we can get back out through the trap door now. I think they... Hello? Hello there? You alive, guy? Oh, no, I think he's sleeping. Or you know what? Probably he's dead. I don't know, maybe Gene can help? I just wanted to say, you know, to... Today really meant a lot to me, and, um, uh, God, uh, this is so fucking hard. Um, your free trial of detective mode is up, so see you later, bye! And with that, everyone lived happily ever after. It was a happy, perfect day, and the children were laughing, see? Amazing. The end. Okay, I'm done with that voice. Look at that. You found Dr. Giblets all by yourself. See? It's not so easy figuring out where these bozos are. How'd it go? Come on over, let's bow wow. Okay, uh, so we did find Dr. Giblets. Um, he is dead, but we also found another Gatlian. Oh shit, that's great. I, 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 I don't know about that. I mean, he, he's, he's not really functional. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think he's dead, but. Oh, God damn. Yeah. He's busted up real bad. What were they doing to him? Do you, do you think he's salvageable? Buddy, I'm not gonna promise you I can save him. That would be irresponsible of me. You would be careless to toy with your emotions like that. But yes, I can definitely fix it. Okay, th thanks, Gene. But you know, if, if he can't be saved, it, it wouldn't be, uh... What was that? Uh, nothing. I, 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 I was being shitty. You, you didn't hear me. You, I don't want you to hear me being shitty. Yeah, okay. Weird thing to say, but whatever. Sorry to change the subject, but, uh... Turn in your bounty real quick. I've got some good news and some bad news. Okay, come on over. Let me give you the news. All right, what do you got for us, Gene? All right, which do you want first? The good news or the bad news? All right, here's the bad news. Lizzie's been gone for a while. It's probably nothing, and I'm obviously not actually worried or anything because I, I hate her. But, uh, you know, you, you might want to look into it, since she's your sister and all. Maybe check with Tweeg. He works at that Space Applebee's uptown. All right, well, I lied, kid. I don't have any good news. I was hoping you'd just ask for the bad news, and then you'd be so upset you'd forget to ask about the good news. Uh, I was trying to pull a fast one on you, and I failed. So, uh, it was pretty embarrassing. Uh... So, uh, yeah, that's everything. I'll work on getting us some new bounty leads if you want to go look for Lizzie. And, uh, I'm gonna see if I can fix up that busted Gatlian you saved. Jesus, that is a lot to take in, Gene. Hey, uh, Bounty Hunter, you mind if we leave the other Gatlians here with Gene and maybe we can go poke around for Lizzie and use that time to have a little chat with each other? You know, just you and me, uh, our favorite people, our favorite, uh, you and I, our best pals. Sure, we can use a little break. It's nice to stretch out a bit, you know? Take a little nappy poo. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Change the channel, Gene, to porn. Have a good time, you two. We'll hold down the four. All right, bounty.
Bounty Hunter, let's head to Applebee's and we're, let's find your sister. Look at us, just you and me again, you know, just like old times, like the dream team, you know? Uh, so Applebee's, it's in the slums, which you, you know, you, you probably knew that. So your suit can point us in the right direction. So you take the lead, Bounty Hunter. You, you, you know, we'll talk with, you know, we'll, we'll, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna chat. It's gonna be good. It's gonna, it's all good. Don't worry about this. Don't get shooken up about this. I don't, I, there's no reason to be, uh, you know, d don't feel weird or anything. I'm not trying, you know what I mean? Hey, listen, I'm sorry about being weird back there. It's just, hey, well, oh, there's something I need to tell you. Whew, this is, this is hard. Just give me a second. Oh, you got this, Kenny. Come on. What are you doing? Making it awkward. All right, Kenny, you're talking to yourself now. They can hear you. It's not so hard. Just tell them everything. <laughs> you, you'd never judge me, right? I mean, we're such close partners at this point, you know? Like, nothing I can say could ruin that, right? <laughs> I'm just just kidding around. Just I'm just joking around. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm out of my body right now, I think. Hey, do your best and have fun. You think I forgot you sided with this dipshit instead of me? No. All right, we are uh, we are heading to Applebee's in the slums, and that that's where we're here. going to in the slums. Boy, okay, so that um, that dying Gatlian that we saved, let's do it. Let's say we can fix him up and he, you know, back alive. The thing is, oh, okay, sorry, sorry. I, I'm just trying to figure out how to say this properly, or, or you know, like communicate um, how we normally do, right? You know, the Gatlian we saved, let's do it. Uh, he knows some things about me that 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 the others don't know, and it's, it's, it's nothing too crazy, you know. It's, it's, it's okay, no, it's it's bad. It's really bad. Sorry, I don't mean to be cryptic. I'm just, oh, this is tough. You know, this is really hard. I, I just don't want you to hate me. I'm worried about your sister. You, you think Twig is working today? Welcome to Applebee's. Table for two, right this way. Oh, uh, actually, we're wondering if someone named Tweeg is working today. He didn't show up for his shift, sorry. Do you still want a table? Um, you know what? You know what? Maybe this is a good spot to talk. Uh, yes. We, 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 will, we will take a table. Enjoy your meal. Your waiter will be with you shortly. Thank you. Okay, listen, I I'm sorry for making us sit here at Applebee's. I know we're really focused on Lizzie, and that's kind of the important thing, but would you mind if I kind of got something off my chest here with you first? Whew, okay, thanks. You know, it's just... You know, it, it's gonna weigh me down if I don't say something. Okay, so you remember what happened on my home planet, Gatlas? It got taken over by the G3, like yours. You know, all my people got enslaved. You, you, you remember that, right? You know all that, right? Sorry, of course you do. Well, um, what if it was kind of, you know, just a little tiny bit entirely my fault? <sighs> okay, I, I can see you're at a loss for words. I, I, I know how it sounds. I'm not the only reason the G3 invaded Gatlas. I'm just the only reason they even knew about it in the first place. Hey there, welcome to Applebee's. I'm gonna be your waiter for the day. Can I get you started with one of our signature cocktails? Uh, not, not now, please. We're, we're kind of busy here.
Okay, sure thing. I'm gonna go ahead and get that in for you. Uh, thank you. Okay, bounty hunter, so l l let me explain. Gatlas was isolated on the far edge of an asteroid belt. We were completely untouched by the greater interstellar civilization, j just like your planet. But, you know, I, I wanted out. Like, I wanted to see the galaxy. I wanted to see what everything out there had to offer. That's when Rel Del Mar crashed his ship into our planet. He was this crazy smuggler. He, he'd been all over and he'd seen it all. And, 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 and after I helped him fix his ship, he wanted me to be a part of his crew, you know? And he, he took me with him. And I'm back. Here we go. This is for you. All right, now what were you thinking for an appetizer? Uh, so, I'm sorry. We're in the middle of something, please. Great, it's coming right up. Oh, I don't know why I picked Applebee's to tell you this, but wh where were we? Okay, oh, right, um, obviously a guy like Rel, you know, he had to deal with all kinds of shady customers, and, well, you know, that led us to the G3, and Garmantuous, you know, he'd never seen an alien like me, you know, a talking gun with endless firepower, and, well, looking back, you know, I see how stupid I was, you know, I, I really do, but at the time, I couldn't tell, you know, I was being taken advantage of. I was going nowhere. You no, know, everyone thought I was a fuck up. You know, I, I just wanted to prove to everyone that I could do something. You know. Open up. Here comes the appetizer train. Chicka 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 choo choo. Thank you. I ho hope you like those. Now you better be ready to order that main course. You betcha. I'm gonna get that order right to the cook. Okay, thank you. So, I led the G3 right to Gatlas. Do you see where I'm going with this? We fought them off at first, you know? But they came back with some super virus that damn near zombified everyone. You know, a few of us were immune. We formed a rebellion. It was led by Let's Do It. He was my best friend, my mentor. He was one of the strongest Gatlians who ever lived, and I, I got him killed. In his dying moments, I told him everything, like I'm telling you now, about how I left Gatlas to pal around with a criminal, how I led Garmantuous and the G3 right to our planet, how I got everyone killed, except Let's Do It survived. Somehow, the G3 must have kept him alive to try to utilize his power. God, if we can really bring him back, do, do, do you see my problem, right? Like, I, I'm gonna have to tell the other guns what I did, you know, or else he'll tell them. All right, I'm back. Hope those tummies are ready for some yummies. Bon appetit. Dude, take a fucking hint. Can't you see we're in the middle of a thing here? Emotional thing. Uh, you know, this is important baggage shit we're dealing with here. Take a hint and get out of here for a second. Uh-oh, someone's feeling grumpy. Oh, wonderful. Now, wh what the fuck is happening outside? Lizzie? Don't follow us. Twig and I are in love, and we're going to travel the galaxy in his space RV. Uh, actually, this is moving kind of fast. Not Help me, please. that sentence. We're in okay, love. we gotta get to them. Okay, this, this, this changes shit, this is bad. That means you realize too, not your stupid game! I'm here live in downtown Blim City where, as you can see, we've been invaded by violent and agitated G3 cartel forces. No one can say for sure why they're here. We're here to kill you, bounty hunter! <laughs> Okay, well, there you have it. It looks like this is only a problem if you are that bounty hunter that they're trying to kill. I'm People Puckerton, Blim City News. Stay safe out there. Hey, uh, so I've got some more bad news. Uh, you were doing such a good job at all these bounty hunting, right? But you really were, so I made some new commercials when you in them drum up more business and, well, let's just say they had your house address and now the G3 knows where we are, so they're attacking the house. So, get back here quick, or they're gonna kill me and the other guns. My bad. Or they're gonna kill me and the other guns. My bad. Fucking... Hey, come on, what are you doing? We, we gotta get to the house. Fighting every- 
Buddy, we just need to get home. I've been here the whole time, but, but don't worry, I'll keep your secret safe. I'm, I'm not a snitch. Hey, what's going on, best buddy? Hey, just so you know, man, everyone's like really upset with you. I knew you were fucking trouble, you piece of shit. Holy shit, they're fucking everywhere! Get to the house, come on, we gotta get to the fucking house! Surprised to see me, bounty hunter? <laughs> <laughs> you fucked with the wrong crime syndicate. It's all over. Hand over the Gatlians you stole from us, and then let me heal you nice and easy. We know, we know everything about you, and we still have two also oh special people who are very worried about you. <laughs> Turn yourself in, and nobody has to get hurt. Fucked up enormously, but we'll deal with that later. Please, fire up the warp core. We're leaving. Got it. Hey, don't forget about us. Oh, sure. Yeah, take in the sights while we're getting shot at from every direction. You know, now's the perfect time to sightsee. It's not like we haven't seen it. Enough of this fucking city already. What's the plan? Yeah. The warp's ready, but where can we go with a G3 oh, warp furlough? I'll handle that. Can you pull off the Hennison maneuver mid-warp to juke them? Can I what? Did you make that up? You mean scramble the warp? Fine, yes, scramble the warp. Bounty hunter, bring me to the warp core. close. I may be 230, but I don't want to die yet. Are we? D d did we make it? Yeah. We're safe. Nobody on our tail, but uh, where are we? Am I missing something? I'm not picking up any signs of life out there. Then we're in the right spot. Kenny, where did you just take us? It was the only safe place I could think of. Careful. It's toxic out there. I set up an atmos bubble so you can breathe, so don't wander too far. Or do. What does it matter anymore? Welcome to Gatlas, my home planet. Jesus. I didn't realize it was this bad. Fuck, there's nothing left. This was our home? Pretty soon Earth is gonna look like this too. We have got to stop the G3, bitch. Sorry, nobody answered me. I asked if this was our home. Anyone? How is it out there? We, we, we don't want to talk about it. That bad, huh? Well, uh, 
Don't get all depressed about it. We still got more guys out there to kill. Let's powwow real quick. Look, I hate to be pushy, but are you ready for your next bounty? You know what, kid? Maybe you should get some rest. Let's save the bounty hunting for tomorrow. Head on upstairs. I'll take care of things down here. I hate to say it, but Gene's right. Let's get some shut-eye. We'll make this right starting tomorrow. Strawberry lips cajoles, and like an asp writhing on burning coals. Moist on my lips, and I can roll to sleep. So this is your bedroom, huh? It's fine. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't. All right, good night. So learned in the amorous heart. All right, you're finally up. Okay, let's get back to it, I guess, you know? I, I, I hope Gene has a lead on Lizzie. Let's go. Yeah, look who finally decided to wake up. You know how late it is? Because I don't. There's no sun on this dead rock of a planet. By the way, I got you a little something some. A new suit upgrade. Extra overshield. You're welcome. Let's get to business. I've got something you like. You can breathe easy. I'll get right to it. I tracked down Lizzie's bio signal. Oh, that's great. So, so she's... She's alive. Don't worry, but she's on the move. Probably on a ship, so we have to act fast or we'll lose her. If you're ready, just step through the portal door. I don't know what I want. Okay, fine, I don't know either. Isn't the sex good? I don't know. I can't even tell if we're doing it right. We're aliens. None of our shit even lines up correctly. You could be pregnant and I would fucking wonder how that happened. My cum goes all over outside of your body. Well, okay. I don't know if it's good either. Your body is really confusing. God, I'm just so confused. Aren't we in love? You're asking me that, dude. You're the one who dragged me out on this trip. I wasn't looking for anything serious. I just wanted to get laid. But even that turned out to be some weird fucking Hellraiser puzzle. Oh, shut up. Don't blame this on me. There's plenty of ways you could have figured out how to use my equipment, so to speak. Hey, uh, sorry to interrupt. Oh, yeah, thank God. You came just in time to save me. Me is who you came to save. Thank you. Fuck your sister, dude. Woo. Cuckoo. Girls, am I right? Love is tough. What the fuck are you doing here? Uh, I don't know. We were a little worried about you. God, everyone needs to chill out. When have you smoked? What, you're a smoker now? Wait, what is it? Camels? Marble? 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 Marbleos? Marble? 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 Marbleos? Marbleos? I don't know. What's it to you? What do you want? Oh my god, just choose. Uh, no shit. Yeah, we're yelling at each other. You want a fucking medal for being able to figure out when two people are fighting? Okay, Einstein. Hey, you want us to throw you a parade or something for figuring out the most obvious shit? Okay, honestly, now it seems like the two of you are getting along. Yeah, that's the problem. Sometimes we're happy together. Yeah, if we just hated each other all the time, fucking, I wouldn't be here. And you'd be playing some rock star game, you fucking asshole. <laughs> but we love each other. <laughs> I don't know. I, I thought this would help. Just us getting away together. My old life's fucked. Everyone else is doing their own thing. I just wanted... I wanted to bang someone on a rocket Winnebago in space. So sue me. Me too, Lizzie. Your body terrifies me in every way imaginable, but... Yeah, me too. <clears throat> what? Well, I don't want to come home. It's not even my home anymore. It's Jean's jack-off mansion, and it's your little clubhouse where you can unwind for a few minutes between bouts of, oh, I don't know, murdering criminal gang lords. Hey, I'll go home. You can take me home. 
How about that? I'm your new sister. Congratulations. Just get me the fuck out of here. No, you're staying, Tweed. We're in love. Say it. Say we're in love. Okay, never mind. I can't go. I have to be in love with your sister. Look, I hate to be insensitive, but it's dangerous out in space for humans right now. We even got chased out of Blimp City by the G3. Whoa, really? Yeah, it was rough. Listen, I get that there's a lot right now that's bothering you, but can we convince you at least to just come home with us and figure it out there? But I'm busy being in love with Tweeg. Uh, yeah, we're busy. Sorry. So just leave. Unless... What else were you worried about? Oh, yeah? How? Why are you just staring at us? Yeah, how about you just let me handle this on my own? You already decided to become a weird alien killing expert. Don't strain yourself trying to be a dating expert, too. Um, yeah, no offense, but you're kind of butting in, dweeb. Hey, only I can talk to them that way. And look, I'm sorry I dragged you out here. Really, I am. I know you didn't want to. But I just, I wanted to know for sure if if we worked or not. Oh, yeah, it's cool. I forgive you. I just think, oh, oh, really? Even after forcing you to leave with me? Yeah. Okay, it's fine, yeah. Did you know I almost sold you out to the G3? They were offering, like, a lot of pesos to find out where you were. And that would have been way worse. What the fuck, Twig? You piece of shit. Wait, what? You're joking, right? No, I really almost did it. Like, I had my phone out and everything. If Lizzie hadn't dragged me on this trip, I probably would have. I'm not good. I'm a shithead. Lizzie shouldn't be dating me. Gene was right. And it's a little fucked up because he was being a misogynist, but he was actually right. I do suck, and I'm fine with it. That's just who I am, and I love it. So fuck off. Love it. Sue me if you don't like it, but good luck finding a judge who'll take that case or a lawyer. Fuck it. You're a fucking idiot. Well, Jesus, I was about to do a, a whole thing about how we should take a step back and slow things down, but you know what? Fuck you, Tweek. Yeah, th- yeah, Tweek. Fuck you. Hey, thanks for coming to get me. Seriously, it, it means a lot. Uh, okay, enough. Let's go. You got it. Smell you later, Tweek. We're back. You're safe. Uh, I mean, fuck you. And a fuck you, too. Okay, happy reunion. Everyone's fine. Can, can we just get back to bounty hunting? Yeah, 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 yeah. Clug just sent over the data on Nipulon, so you can head out while I fix Les to it. Did you, uh, know how much firepower this guy's packing? He's got to be at least ten times as powerful as any of you other Gatlians. Wait, you really think you're going to be able to fix him? Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably have them all patched up by the time you get back. You're serious? That 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 soon? Yeah. Don't worry about it, kid. Your friend's gonna be just fine. Old Papa Jean watched a bunch of GooTube tutorials, and now he knows his way around cybernetics. That's 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 great. It's it's just what you don't sound too happy. You know how hard I've been working to save this guy. Fuck. Whew, okay. I guess it's now or never, bounty hunter. Can you set the other guns down on the table for me, real quick? Hey, everybody, I, I I need to come clean about, uh, well, sh- f- this is f- way tougher than I thought. Spit it out! Yeah, spit it out! No, I I, I can't. I, y- y- you're going to hate me. Dad, th- we, we don't have secrets. We're a family. Well, hold on. I might decide to hate him. It's okay, Kenny. You can tell us. Oh, just fucking say it. Okay, fine. Y- if you don't hear it from me, you're just going to hear it from Les it when he wakes up. Okay, what if I were to tell you that I'm the reason the G3 invaded Gatlas and enslaved our race? We'd be mad. I, I don't think I could get over it. Yeah, don't say that. You know what? It would really suck to hear you say Kenny, that. Kenny, come on. That's not true, right? No, no, no. That would be impossible. Are you doing a bit? Okay, well, there's, there's more to the story than just a... Oh, fuck, he's scrambling for words. It really is true. He really did cause the downfall of our civilization. Kenny, how? That doesn't even make sense. 
How could it be your fault? I left Gatlas before the G3 invaded. But, but how could that be possible? We didn't even have interstellar travel on Gatlas yet. I ran into an alien smuggler who crashed his ship on our planet, and I was going nowhere, and, and, and he took me with him on these adventures, and it was supposed to be, you know, this fun, awesome thing, and, but then we got mixed up doing the wrong job with the wrong crowd. Garmantu was in the G3, and I accidentally led them right to Gatlas. It all happened so fast, I, I thought they killed Let's Do It. I, I told him everything as I watched the light leave his eyes. I didn't know he I didn't know he was gonna survive. You mean you didn't think you'd ever have to tell us the truth? No, 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 that's not it. I, I... <sighs> This is all sorts of fucked up, Kenny. I don't even know what to say. See? I'm not the biggest fuck up here. Not now, dude. Everyone, please. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know what I was doing. We're so close to taking down the G3. Let's just... Oh, okay, let's just pretend you're not the reason everyone we know and love is dead, yeah? Sure, easy, done. What's next on the agenda? Forgive Garmantuous too? Come on, th th that's not fair. Don't fight. I'm sure we can all figure this out. No, creature, he can't just drop that bomb on us and expect everything to be the same. I, I'm sorry. Look, I hate to be this guy, but we're running out of time. Nipulon may not stay where he is for long, so I know things aren't... The ideal, but uh... yeah, 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 yeah. We'll finish the job. And then you're out of our lives, Kenny. Come on, Sweezy, you don't mean that. Enough. Just pull yourselves together for this mission, at least. You're professionals. You're bounty hunters. Act like it. Mm hmm Fine. <laughs> okay, yeah. Gather everyone up. It's time to get back on track. Nipulon just flew back into his drug lounge on Port Terrine, so we gotta strike now. Can you handle that? She, meanwhile, with strawberry lips control. Let's just get this over with. Fast writhing on burning coals. Moist on my lips. And I can lull to sleep thine ancient conscience in my couches deep. I am so learned in the amorous. Hey, in the event that I manage to get Leswit back online, we'll be ready to fight Garmantuous. And for that, Fair. you're really gonna need those Earth coordinates. Nipulon should have them logged somewhere in his office, in that big drug lounge he runs. Find those if you can, so we can take the fight to Garmantuous back on your home planet and finish this. Okay, we just need to sneak into Nipulon's lounge. Let's try... Can it, traitor! We'll handle this one. We don't want you selling us out. Kenny, do us all a favor and sit this one out. Hey, stop fighting! I hate it when everyone's fighting! We need to talk things over in a healthy way. No, 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 no. We just need to cover ourselves in goop again. It's not complicated. That's true, we should do that. But I also think we need to have a really fun time at the saloon, so go there first, please. Uh, whatever, it's it's up to you, bounty hunter. Head over to Drektown and get gooped up, or try hashing this out at the saloon. Hey, it's me, the goop guy. I'm over here now. I moved here for your convenience. It's closer. Hey, we are here for your services. We would like to get gooped again, if you if if you could. Oh, no can do, partner. See my little gooper trooper. You're as sick as can be. Looks like he's not gonna make it. Truth be told, I don't think I'll ever be gooping anybody ever again. <laughs> Unless we get him that medicine. Medicine? Well, maybe we can help. Oh, no way! Thank you so much! Wow, that's so nice of you. There's a special flower over there on uh, the other side of Terrine Ravine. But good luck getting over there, because that ravine is Terrine through the valley, if you know what I mean. Those damn mac and cheese brothers are taking forever to build the bridge. I mean, if you could get them to do their jobs, then maybe we could get the flower and save my little goopa. Don't worry, we, we, we got it. We can do it. Well, shit. I don't want to get my hopes up, but thank you so much.
Oh, you're going with my plan? It's an honor. I will not take this lightly. Shall we take a seat at an open table? You know, it's a fucking tragedy. Hey, me too, Marky. Me too. You know, they were... Hey, listen, they were assholes. Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, Buster. What are you doing walking on this... Okay, so you're not leaving, are you? You're just fucking barging in. What do you want from us? Hey, we're, we're just trying to look for a way across. Well, tough luck. You, 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 you think you own the world? You want to get across the ravine? You got to wait for us mac and cheese brothers brothers to do our work. Yeah. Yep. Come on, you're telling me there's nothing we can do? No, sorry, pal. Listen. We got our own emotional shit right now. You know, we're, we're on strike until Papa Mac and Cheese Brothers, you know, he comes back from that goddamn saloon in Old Town and he tells us he loves us Mac and Cheese Brothers, his sons. You, you want us to get your dad to love you? All right, listen, we just need to hear that he loves us. That's it. We ain't working until we find out, okay? Hey, we're the Mac and Cheese Brothers, yeah! You can't do shit! You're, you're right. a piece of Did shit! You talk to our Mac and Cheese <laughs> Brothers at the saloon edge. yet? No, Ooh, not baby. yet. We'll, we'll, we'll get around to it, though. Don't worry. We got you. I'll see ya. again. Uh, sorry, does anyone know where we can find... Excuse me, you know where, uh, Papa Mac and Cheese might be? Never heard of him. And if I had, I'd keep quiet. Hello, I'm sorry. We're trying to find a Papa Mac and Cheese. You might may, may be able to point us in the right direction? Hey! You there? Yeah? I'll tell you where Papa Mac and Cheese is. If you do this guy. What? No, not me. Please pick anybody but me, please. Well, huh? A duel? Okay, okay. Well, you know what? Listen, whatever. We'll do it. You got the rules. Stand five feet apart, count to three, then draw. Last man standing wins the fucking duel. Come on, man. I, I don't want to do this. Come on, it'll be fucking fun. Go on, then. Get to your mark. Perfect. Here we go, then. Jeez. I'll count you down. Shoot at each other on fucking draw, all right? Three. All right, we got this. Two. I believe in you. I think. One. Fucking draw. Whoa. That's some quick trigger finger you got there, fuckface. Oh, th thank you. Is he, is he gonna be okay? Oh, yeah, he's dead. But it's fine. We hated him. He's a fucking piece of shit. Anyway, sorry. Oh, this choke my foot. Oh, oh. Oh, well, we fucked that up. Kidding me? Oh, no, you're gonna kill me. Oh, you're gonna kill me. It, hurt. it does hurt when you do that. Hey, so what, what, what did Papa say? Huh? Does he love us or not? 
Actually, um, your dad is is dead. You gotta be kidding me here. Oh my god, this is incredible news. Fuck, uh, I'm so glad I'm finally, I'm finally out of his shadow. I'm free out of his torment. Free to finally stop worrying about his approval. Free to j just be happy. Just to be a fucking mac and cheese brothers and do what I do. Oh, I'm happy my dad's dead and I'm finally happy for the first time in my whole goddamn life. Oh. Look at me. I can't handle it. It's too much. Oh my god, I'm fucking overflowing with fucking love. I'm overflowing with excitement. Oh fuck! Oh shit! Oh fuck! I'm oh, fucking you're leaving. shaking. Okay. I mean, you can't I'll see just it, be but here. I am. I'm not letting go. All right, we did it. Let's get this back to the goop salesman and fix up his gooper. I've never seen nothing like this. It's beautiful. Oh, Think oh, of all the work oh, we could have oh. saved. You know. Oh, I thought I wouldn't be here still, but I am. Oh, rest assured, this oh, mac and cheese wow. brother's not... I'm gonna oh, be here when you get back. I can't believe it. Sorry if I'm a little distracted. I, I've, I've, I've got a lot on my mind. You know, like, all my friends blaming me for genocide. Hey, that fucking hurts. It's an honor! Thank you! Thank you so much!